Evening everyone, how are we doing tonight? Welcome along Carl, Brendan and Stig Gaming. Hope we're all well. So a slight change tonight, we're not doing the MP. But what we are going to do is take a look at the Welker Farms map now it's been updated. Now it's quite hard on this map when it first came out due to the amount of faults on it so I thought we'd take another look at it. Just to see how much it's changed. Have they fixed everything? Have they improved it? So what are we going to find? Straight away, well, we have, um, we we'll seem to have some dumped seed pallets and pallets of fertilizer in the shop area here. Which is a little bit uh, odd, shall we say? No problem, Brendan. Um, you're not the first person who's done that, and you won't be the last. It's a, such an easy thing to make a mistake on when you first go on PC. Too many HDMI ports. Right, question is are these actually usable? Only one way to find out. We'll just lease a forklift and see if we can move them. As we're down here. Not really come across stuff dumped like that before. So we've come on here on new farmer mode. Just have a look. So definitely usable pallets here, and quite unusual that there's a part one though. Not quite sure what's going on there. Yeah, so 578. It's not even a round number there. Let's have a look what's in the other ones. Then we'll have a look in the uh, garage menu and just see what's there. So I have got Big Brute and all the Big Bud mods installed on here. The in-game ones. There are starting vehicles which came with the new farmer mode. I haven't changed them, they're what were with the map. Evening Thomas, how are we doing tonight? So that one was full. That one's full. So it's a completely new save I've just come on to. So we've got three full IBCs of fertiliser there. I've not bought these, I've not done anything with them just as they came. Which is odd, shall we say. Let's have a look at the shop. Hey Fast Farming, I'm good, thanks, how are you doing? So this is what we've started with, CVX145, the two big buds, the warrior, big brute, the big combine, Mahindra I bought, and of course we've got the lorry trailers, auger wagon, header, flexi-core, Terminator, Breedle, Loaders, Grain Silos, Sheds. No seed or fertiliser pallets in there. But we have loads dotted about, as you'll see. Even Farm Life on Good Thanks, how you doing? Seem to be a lot of those cold starting to go around at the moment. So I've only all I've done is literally run down the shop. <clears throat> Haven't I, Milton? Yes. We'll go into what else happened on here. 
while I was talking to you. Not that I fell off the edge of the map or anything. Start floating about beneath it. Ooh, so a sign which says do not enter, well that only means one thing to me. If it says do not enter, we're entering. One slightly floating car again on the back corner. Hey Terry, how are we doing? Yep, definitely floating on the back tower still. So just as much stuff about the uh, shop area here. And sell point. Still got random machines dumped. In various points. I'm good, thanks. We have opening gate sounds with the gates now, which is an improvement. So I think I'm just going to turn the traffic off before we do anything else. Otherwise, I can see a slight um, collision incident coming, shall we say. So we've got a bit of distance there now. Unfortunately, when you get to the edge of the map, we've still got this pattern again. Which hopefully I can't walk through this time. So we're okay there have had something better done. It's a shame. I know, Terrier. It's a good job you weren't in here when I found them, because I could imagine what was going to be said. Exactly the same as before around the outside here. I thought they were going to try and uh, improve the map boundary on here. Okay, so give us a good bit in the distance there, but um, something to sh sort of shield that lot would have been nice. Kind of was Terrier. I mean, it's only just over 100,000 litres stuck in the silage bits. We haven't emptied the other one yet. Speaking of square, I wouldn't mind playing it if it wasn't flat boundary still. It's alright if you keep away from the outside of 1174. But we have gates that sound like gates now, so that's an improvement. We found one floating car so far. I'll watch one or two of them. I'm also watched every one. Just don't get time to do it, unfortunately. Between everything else. I mean, I thought that wall was floating. Just an optical illusion. I 
you try and run your own business and uh, YouTube channel and doing further bits as well, you soon run out of time. It's just this one needs looking at the outside of the map. It could have been made a lot better still. I'm hoping it's not. Thomas, I really am. I was really hoping that um, they'd done something pretty significant with the boundaries on here. I thought they were on the everything I'd heard they changed the map boundaries and borders okay so we've got some mountains in the distance now so it doesn't look too bad from this distance looking forwards so when you get a bit closer to them I wanted to do it live this time so you guys could see everything that I was seeing at the same time that I saw, if that makes sense, as opposed to in a video. It's obviously running my textures from the data folder. That's why I haven't got the FPS up because I know it's going to be hit. And I haven't put seasons on yet either. I suppose I need to just do Milton's job for him here. We've got a little bit of woodland area here, Milton. As you're not on here, I suppose I'd better just have a quick look around the trees. Yeah, go for it. That's usually your trick, walk straight into woodland to find the only floating tree on the map. Oh look, got one! Didn't have to try too hard. <clears throat> so there's one. Uh, probably about nine o'clock, uh, I should think, Daniel. Got one through the fence there. Usually they're easy to find once you turn seasons on. Yeah, that should have been found by the testers, that one. That's for certain, because it's hardly a dense bit of woodland here. That would have been easy to spot. You can understand where you've got dense trees with bushes around the bottom, that can be harder to spot. See when you've got things like these bushes around the bottom of them, you can't see them so well, but on that bit. I mean, something like that as well. Floating van. It's actually in the wood chip cell point here, by the looks of it. in the building is interesting. I 
Now is that me or is this end building on the lean? That looks to me like that's on the lean. Those posts. Yeah, subsidence must be. I was really hoping we wouldn't find anything like that this time. I feel like a dwarf next to this fence. Fence it for rhinos or something? Yeah, I've got some water here. Not very deep water. Hey Mark, welcome along. Yeah, lean to, definitely lean to. Leaning lean to. That water wasn't very deep. I know where you're heading with that one. So I just walk through it and if this will go through it. Water's not very. Um, okay. That's interesting. How did I just get beneath that? I think I've just managed to walk on water. I was hoping I would not find any issues this time on here. So far one floating t tree and two floating vehicles. Let's have a look in our yard over here and see what we've got. I was planning on doing a bit on there as well as a first look. No titanium bushes anymore. Apparently so, Terrier. find out in a moment. Got two fill points there. Fertilizer. One low barn there. With our anti gravity waste disposal bin in the corner. Giants don't test maps like this anymore, farm life, they just look for errors. They rely on the creator's own testers to find this sort of thing. So I've got the combine up here. Machinery is appearing as used, which ain't a bad feature to have on the map.
2.1 hours on the clock. Everything's left on here as if it's been left in the save game. The part palette of seed, the other bits and pieces. As if it's someone else's save game you come into. Hi IRT, how are we doing? Silos over here. With the second one along as um, doing its impression of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, good, thanks. <clears throat> so we've got the Leaning Tower of Pisa there, the rest of them seem to be upright. So our team taking a while to get there, but we got there in the end. So a couple of small bits in that yard. They are small bits there. They're not massive game-breaking problems. Um, windows. Must getting towards probably ten and a half, eleven months. So let's go this way. Just briefly as there's some scrap iron down here. That's not flowing. We shall have a look in a moment, Terrier. How are you doing tonight anyway? Is still the discomfort or getting better? And what have we got in the middle of that field there? More to the point. And why is it in the middle of a field? This may seem like a daft question. Why would we have five pallet bags of lime in the middle of a field? Plus something else against the um, polo bear. At least you're getting some sleep now, that's a good improvement, isn't it? Seems to be earthed. Two pallets of herbicide dumped against the telegraph pole. Let's see if they fix the uh, wire up here at the pump houses. Yep, the wire is now actually attached to the building that was floating in between them all before. Yep, definitely better than in the middle of the field. That's a good night's sleep for you then, just slightly. So this is all the starting equipment, there's nothing I've added here. Apart from the Hindra. So let's have a look around the buildings now. Because this is someone else's save game. Everything's looking reasonably earthed so far. I 
it's still got a few issues IRT leaning grain silo, two floating cars, a floating tree is the list so far it's not as bad as it was first time around It's certainly not as bad as it was when that first came out. Just find a few oddities on here more than anything now. Oh, add a floating picnic bench to the list. But it's working. So one floating picnic bench. A lot of the vehicles have been removed what were on here. There's a few cars parked about, they've gone. It's not seen as many problems as there were before. The ones we are finding are things what should have been found. The light coming beneath the building wall there, that's minor. Could happen anyway. From what I can gather, giants do not test the way I've just done that anymore. They rely on the maps and been tested by the map maker's own testers. So something as simple as that, you'll do well to find something like that on Meadowgrove. Because we've all crawled around on hands and knees looking for things like that. floating trees they shouldn't be there and unless something gets missed it, easy enough to miss one but don't know how the testers are working in Nathan's own words he'd rather we annoyed him by finding floating things like this building which is most definitely floating above the ground then it goes out on the map and someone else finds it. A bit like that is well and truly floating off the ground there. So the building is floating as is the control box on the side of it. That's the sort of thing testers should find when they're going around a map. Especially when it's so prominent as that in the farmyard it's not even hitting that one. I know the grass textures I'm running on here do hide things more, the standard ones do not. As you see we've got a good selection of machinery here. So the Big Bird has 2.8 hours on the clock and 707 litres of seed in the hopper. I don't know what they've done. But it's as, if, as I said, it's as if they've uploaded a save game as the new farmer mode. Big Brute, 6,003 litres of liquid fertiliser. And 0.6 hours on the clock. Look at the baby bud here. 1.9 hours and not fully serviced. A little bit um, odd, shall we say. 
This is a save game. The lorry. Not point not one hours. Nothing in the trailer. And the truck is brand new. So let's have a look at the that is ours, that's ours. 2.1 on that. 0 0.2 hours on the combine. So it's been driven here and just parked. I mean, the other, only other map I can think of what's had hours on them would be um, Mercury Farms by Alien Jim, if I'm not mistaken. First one that springs to mind. I don't know if there's been any others. So I think what we need to do now is save this and put seasons on it. Evening Ferris, how are we doing? So we'll pop seasons onto this now. And just see what happens. So I think in this case it's important that we do check the season's mask out. I'm good, thanks. You guys love it when I show up breakages, I know you do. As I said, I didn't want to be able to find anything wrong with the map this time. I was hoping they had sorted everything. I could repeat my experiment where I fell off the map earlier, though, if you really wanted. Brace ourselves. Okay, so far so good. We'll just give it a few moments to update. Before we dump the snow. Might be a bit nippy in there at the minute. Like this. Looks like I don't need to dump the snow. Does that not say rain at the top there? This could be fun. That's most definitely snowflakes. You guys want to see me fall off the map, don't you? I know what your game is. Let's see if I can remember where I'd done it. Somewhere over in this direction I fell off. I think you're just evil, really, you lot. Just sheer evilness. So it wasn't there. Somewhere along this side I went straight through. Can't remember where. No, I think I might have just found a weak point when I'd done it. Floating telegraph pole off the map, anyone? The thin red line. Can't remember where I went exactly.
getting close to the edge there. I know they want to keep authentic with how the map was laid out, but I think there could have been a few tweaks done. Oh look! This is what you guys want to see, isn't it? So we're now beneath the map, as you can see. And there is a whole raft of scenery down here beneath the map. So you see where we are. So right down beneath here, that rectangle matches the size of the map roughly if you look it's not quite sure what's happened there there we go we're back on top now so just be careful if you do decide to play this map as you can see you can actually get off it and beneath it Should turn to a world of white within a few moments. There we go. A few snowflakes there. The odd one coming through is not unusual though. What we don't want to see in the buildings is um, vast areas of white snow. So the roads haven't been done. Shop area hasn't been done but the cell points the gate is masked so we have no snow on that bit these barns haven't been masked not so at the end of the world because they're not part of the yard the plus side the snow hose hides the floating car That gate has been masked. Oh, trust me, I really didn't want to find anything wrong with this farm life. I was hoping it was fine this time. So that little bit's been masked. Map is Paradise, the same ones who are doing Millennial Farmer's Map. That building has not been masked. And it's a usable barn, which is now full of snow. The fertiliser points haven't have got a small mask on them. So we've got a missed barn there. Don't 
disappointed in them, really. When you read everything, say it's been fixed, and then come on there and find we've got the same board as, as before. Must be Terrier. Wouldn't do for you to go in there at the moment. Wood sails. Okay. This yard has been masked out. Missed a little bit there though. That one's been masked. They've missed the tip point, but masked around it. Interesting. Hey Nathan, how are we doing? Yeah, I'll certainly uh, run out of buildings to look for now. I mean, why mask the buildings and not the actual tip point? I mean, that one you could keep bales in, but um, yeah, that ain't going to help. Leaving the cross stays in place on the front there. Oh my good, thanks Nathan. Those two really would have been helpful if they were removed, I would say. Well, don't put your bales in that barn on here. Okay, it's definitely not me. This barn is on the... Um, What's it, shall we say? See for yourself, Nathan. I'm at the map boundary. We've so far found two floating cars, a floating tree, and a floating picnic table, and a leaning soil, and a very leaning barn. That's the word, 1174, not the first word that sprung to mind. <clears throat> But that barn is definitely subsiding on the back wall. It's better, Nathan. It's a lot better. But just to sort of um, prove Nathan here. The tree which is floating is not even hidden. One of these ones in this little wood over here. Somewhere? That one. It's not even got any bushes around it, it's in the wide open. Oh, and a floating barn and electric meter box in the main yard. Convinced it's someone's save game which has been uploaded. The leaning silo, which they have been masked, luckily. Most of the bugs have been fixed though. But we've got a part pallet of seed, very small amount of seed in the cedar. Um, five bags of lime dumped in the middle of a field. Two pallets of herbicide dump there. It's just a little bit odd. But for the most part, it seems the snow mask is actually okay. They're all done. See? Now there's snow on the ground, you can't actually see that floating. Whereas if I go and do this one, you 
can see it's floating again. It's a little bit of an annoyance there. I can't say I actually blame your terrier. Okay, uh, yeah, you probably see me tomorrow. I think I'm here tomorrow. Everything else seems fine. That's just it's little things now. Okay, catch you later, Terrier. Glad you're doing better. So let's see if we can just alter the weather a little bit on here. There's no snow in the forecast, but it's snowing. Let's speed things up a bit. See if we can get rid of that. Ah, mission prices. The other big one. Fertilising 4.79 hectares, £8,721. Land prices, I don't know if we dare look. So we only start with field two. That's it. Smallest fields. Three hundred and twenty six and a half thousand pounds. Two hundred and ninety eight thousand. Three thirty eight. Three thirty seven. Hundred and forty one. Hundred and twenty six. 1.17 million 2.8 million so not one for start from scratch obviously without fixing the land prices so let's just speed that up a bit And it stops snowing. Good start. So we have literally just got one field on here. Which well, won't take as long to do anything with. So we'd better go and grab that seed from the shop. Yeah, my one will really sound better. The update is they've supposed to fix the bugs. Notice I used the term supposed to fixed. I have put some mountains in the background on here now, but not really shielded the map very well with them. Is that so, Nathan? That doesn't surprise me. They need some good testers. Things on here, as I said before you come in, you won't find them on Medigrove. I shouldn't find them on there unless we really missed one somewhere. You had enough of us looking round up, trying to find things. See, in some ways, this is the perfect map for Terry because it's good for cheaty flowers. We 
we've just sort of found all this, everything's got hours on apart from the um, truck over here. Pick up. The big birds have got hours on. Let me see what you think, Nathan. This one, 707 litres of seed in there and 2.8 hours. It's as if it's someone's save game with how the seed is. Six thousand and three litres of fertiliser, zero point six hours, one point nine hours. It feels like a save game must been put as a new farmer. Don't know if it's the sort of thing you'd agree with. Need to have a bit more of an idea how that works than I would. Right. Did wonder. I wonder what would happen if um, I didn't have them installed. What comes in their place? Or have they included them with the map? No, I haven't. literally just come on here as new farmer I suppose we could load up another save game on here without the buds and the brute installed what do you reckon just to see what happens Right, let's have a look. I've got a few spare slots, still not many. So if we go on farm manager, then find Welkers. Deselect everything. Just put the buds in. I'm not going to save this one. see what appears yep they're still there so on farm manager we still have the buds we don't have any of the buildings or the houses or anything okay there's one more so that just leaves us on start from scratch now then And then I'll put them in without the mods and see what happens. Start from scratch. Inconsistent testing, I think, is the term you to use. See what happens this time, shall we?
Oh look, start from scratch. We still have a fleet of machinery. Everything's still there, apart from the buildings. So what's going to happen if I try and go into the game? A new save game. Evening David, how are we doing? And I don't have the buds installed. Okay Thomas. We'll have a look at that in a moment then Nathan. Let's go in on New Farmer. Get the right map again. Deselect everything and see what happens. Not surprised, David. Turned a bit wet late afternoon here. Not what time it started with you. Right. So if we don't have the buds as a mod, and I'm pretty sure they're not listed as an essential mod on the map. You start with just the one tractor. So if you don't have the big buds installed, you just start with a little maxim. Which isn't exactly brilliant. Oh, I bet. Didn't start here, as I say, till late afternoon, sort of three, four o'clock time. I'm trying not to get this to save at the moment because I don't want it to. So we want to go in on farm manager Nathan with the buds in, but um, see if we can place stuff down and paint grass, shall we? Select all again. Just put the buds in. Hi Tom, how are you doing? And just so I can actually play, let's put guidance steering in as well. Let's see what happens. Hey girly, how we doing? They've uploaded their save game, Thomas. I really don't envy you guys still working on the farm now. On days like this, these are the sort of days where I don't miss them. Right, so. We've now got all the starting equipment again. From their save game. Yeah, that shouldn't have happened either. Let's see if we can place stuff down, shall we? So first, let's um, just... Make sure we've got plenty of money to do that. Let's see if we can just place down the farm. I 
after we've bought the field. I've got that bit. That would have took nearly the whole budget just to buy the areas there. So buy the field and that bit. I think you'll be very lucky at the moment, David. How much rain we're having at the minute. Might be a case of wishful thinking, unfortunately. Haven't got place anywhere in. So we can put the house there, but we can't put it there. Um, what is, what's it doing, Brendan? And I presume you did spec to have that in there. So we can put one farmhouse down there if we so wish. Oh look, we've still got lime pallets as well. It could be very limited where we can actually put the house. So we can put that there. Let's see what else we can come up with, shall we? Shadow 5. We can sort of put it in one or two places, but not many. Did you spec Wi-Fi, Brendan? In your spec list? Or have you just got LAN on it? Are these the sort of problems, Nathan, what was going on before? So that could go there. So it doesn't look like it, David, does it? Let's try the Welker grain silos. So we know they came from there originally. So you have to place them out in the field, then do some landscaping by the looks of it. Build yourself a whole new yard away from the existing one. So you can place them on the field, which kind of defeats the object. Because if you want to rebuild your own yard in the original place, I think we're out of luck. Let's try It's something I think we're all asking at the moment. Grass. Mm-hmm. Well we can paint grass, but it's the standard original in game, not growth stage one. It's not matching my grass on here, which it does on other maps when I paint it down. We get the little yellow flowers on it. We're getting bog standard plain grass here. Let's have a look then, Nathan. Nope, doesn't look like you can paint grassy grass. Cannot be deformed, collides with object. Small bit there. Very small bit there.
Nope, can't place the in-game ones either. So there is certainly another issue going on with this map. Terrain cannot be deformed, there's no reason why it can't go there, it's level. Small silos. Move it off the original farmyard, no problem. Thing is, if you were running global company script, you still won't be able to do it because you can't have place anywhere with that. So you can place it there, but there wasn't a building there originally. So there is certainly an issue with this. Terrain cannot be deformed. Nope, so there's nothing there. Hi. Hi, this is Nick Welker speaking. I just want to say welcome to my family farm and I hope you all have a great time. Hey MJ, how are we doing? Oh look, floating rocks. Must be moon rocks, they're anti-gravity. So there isn't a single place in this farmyard we can place stuff down without place anywhere. So if you want to play this map, especially on console, you're going to have to use the um, new farmer one. Hmm. Yes, MJ. No comment. I don't know. I'm wondering how it's got through testing again at the moment. What else have we got in here we haven't tried yet? Let's try one of the in game sheds, shall we? Let's go for that one. Oh, success there, not there. Should be there really because there wasn't a building there, but anywhere else. There it is. Yeah, I found some floaties on here and other bits and pieces, MJ, that just it shouldn't have passed again. And not what Nathan's saying, it's passed on things what you got failed on. Like all their machinery is here, no matter what mode I start on, all of these are here. That's the only place we could put the house in the farmyard. The picnic bench is now actually grounded where it's floating when you go in standard. Yeah. Doors are flickering. Hi, this is Nick Welker speaking. I just want to say welcome to my family farm and I hope you all have a great time farming.
not seeing anything. Oh, now I am. Yeah, so, certainly something weird going on with the garage doors. If I stand still, it'll just get black lines on it. The windows on the house are doing it as well. If you look to the one at the right of the Welka sign, you can see that flickering and the one on the left of it. Two downstairs windows are doing it as well. Not to trip over the pallets of lime in the middle of the field. So it's still not without its problems. You have to sort of say, did Johannes actually come into the map at all? We know the barn over here isn't snow masked. So we know that one's not snow masked. So let's just buy this little block, shall we? Bear in mind this is new farmer. We've still got all the machinery. I'm really hoping they've done a better job on Millennial Farmer's map. Hey Austin, how are we doing? Shall we try and place a silo down over here? It's these ones with the wonky silo in. Can't put them ones down there. Let's go over this way. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, we've got the wonky silo in there still. So they should be there. Well, according to Map of Paradise, this is finished. So we can't actually put silos in this yard. Honestly, Austin, it's a big letdown and disappointment. Very unfortunate one. I was hoping they might have actually fixed it this time, but it's still got all the problems I had first time round. So we can't actually place silos there, not those ones. Let's go for a small in-game one, shall we? Train cannot be deformed. We can put one in the middle. We can't put one there. Everything what testers should pick up. I'm actually surprised none of that scrap metal is floating over here. A lot of other stuff is still floating on here. Alright, let's go back into the other save game I had.
the one where you put seasons on. Thanks for the sub, Jarrell. Much appreciated. Why do you think we're going back into the other save game, Thomas? It's a seasons one, isn't it? Check I got everything. Yeah, that's the one. Hey Sam Avery, I'm good, thanks, how are you doing? Well if it failed a few times, it should have failed another time by the looks of this. Not worth there's no errors up there. come into my ones there no that's the we'll leave you a Medgrove Nathan you're doing a good job on that one so got all the buildings here this time let's see what happens as we get further away from the rest of them they're flickering again so is it just that garage that does it no, that da that bit is as well, on the corner of the shed. Those doors aren't. We're back to floating picnic bench now, we're back on this save. Okay, don't know why my screen just flashed red then, I don't know if that came across on the stream. So now we're down to low grass over here. I have no idea what that red flash was. Because I don't think there's anything more um, relating to my computer. nothing to do with the stream or anything something to do with this game that red flash something in game Everything there seems to be earthed. Yeah, that's exactly what it could be described as, Thomas. A place where it couldn't be placed type flash. As for really obvious things, I don't think you're in when I found this one, Nathan. Low weight garbage disposal here. Lightweight rubbish only it floats. So I think I don't think we've got anything else floating. Is there any other woodland on here? Yes. So we have one floating tree so far. Can I find any more? Well, we know the whole map was floating at one point when I fell beneath it. 
because I walked off the edge. I'm sure they could have done something with the boundary on here to hide all that um, horrible milky stuff up what's around the outside. Oh, haven't had a look far. One, two, three. Four. Five. That one's definitely floating. Six. Shouldn't have to look up that high for floating trees. Seven. I'm not even looking hard for them, that's the thing. Just walking through the woods and they're there. No, that one's a definite Nathan. <laughs> At least we had to look hard on another map for when me and you were looking around one. Sort of floating, I think. So we bring the total list of floating trees to eight now. Eight trees, one rock, one bin, one picnic bench. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Hey Stephen, how are we doing? Bad, thanks. How are you doing? So, 13 floating trees so far. We'll come back to that shed in a moment. Just carry on walking through the woods. 14. So up to 14 floating trees now. It's not even what you'd call dense woodland. Yeah. Map testing live. Fifteen. Definite floating. Now the old tree you can understand, maybe one. And you found a floating tree on several maps. 
Only when GDs put them on here. So 15 floating trees to date. Because there's no major game breaking errors on it, Stephen. And I think that might be all I test for sometimes. See if we've got any advance on 15, shall we? Wasn't planning on this being a testing type stream. Giving you guys an insight into what we're doing when we're testing maps though. 16. No two ways about that one. <laughs> 17. 18, 19, 18. Can we hit 20? Without falling off the map. Ah, floating barriers. I'm going to do the other end ones in a minute, Nathan. So we're still at 19, aren't we? Floating trees. Okay, catch light, Milton. A good one. Disconnected from your channel. Twenty. Twenty-one. They weren't even pine trees. Twenty-two. Ah, I thought it might have been. Twenty-two floating trees and counting. I'll give you three guesses, Stephen. One should be enough. I'm at the map boundary, so there's your answer, Stephen. Ooh, 23. Three floating trees. On this map, that's got to be more than 10% of the trees are floating. 24. You know if you don't we will when we test it for you Nathan. Twenty four floating trees on a map with so few trees on it. The trees, mainly. 
yeah, I only found one on Marwell, and I think we found four or five on Oakfield when we looked around it, didn't we? Be careful we don't start looking at the same. Please tell me that's the one I found earlier. Up there. It's not, is it? Is that tree number 25 up there? Can't remember where we got to the first time now. I'm hoping that's the one I found earlier. I'd like to think it was. Up at that height. I don't think it is. Try to remember where I came into that block earlier. I'm stuck on something now. Yeah, I think you're right, 1174. We'll call that 25, shall we? I think we've already been through this area. But that was definitely a floating tree. This is where we came into it. Yep, that was 25. That's the one we found earlier. So 25 floating trees on this map. Probably not all of them I've been around either. Yep, so that's one twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-six now, Thomas. There's another one. So 26 trees, one building, one electricity meter point, two cars, a picnic bench all floating. I'll do more because I can't remember where we got to in this bit. I'd rather not count them twice. But I think I might be underwater there. What's that thing? Interesting. What the? Um, yeah. About that. Gold bars, anyone? We seem to be an underwater gold mine at the moment. Interesting little touch. I don't think we're meant to be down there, but uh, we are. Right, so that's this building we want to have a route around, wasn't it? Shall we see if this barn has got a subsidence on it as well? German on an American map. <laughs> oh, look. Did we count those two before? I'd like to think we've already counted those two. 
If we have, if we didn't, it's now 28. <coughs> that barn seems to be upright, unlike the other one. Still left those stays on the barn there. Look at the barn floor though. At least they sound like gates this time. Even though they are tall enough to keep a rhinoceros out. I don't blame you. To be honest, I'm actually disappointed they're still like this. Cause I was hoping that's fixed this time. I don't like getting a map for a re first look type review and finding this much wrong with it. Not when I've already had one update. I didn't look at it this closely when I done the first look. I found enough wrong without looking at it closely. Obviously this time I've gone into more depth on here and uh, it's worse. We've gone underground again. Gates are huge on here. So we got barn floor sort of cutting through bits there. Something going on with that texture there. Flickering. And I haven't tested the cell points. Well, give me a chance to get um, 19 finished first, Thomas. I'm presuming this is a placeable area. The trailer is sunk into the ground there. Um, yeah, don't think we found that one before, 27. You reckon I fall off the map again? Yep, I'm off the map again. Oh dear. Long way up there. Don't like floating like this. Bit of a bottomless pit beneath us there. Okay, it's 26 then, Nathan. Still bad enough. Big Sky Equipment. Um, I get the feeling that's not really meant to be there by how they've tried to hide it. Because these were dumped in the middle of the cell point when we first came on here. Or in the middle of the shop area rather. She looks a bit wooden. Hmm. Where have we seen those sort of issues before, Nathan? I've now done it twice on here, MJ. Three times if you include the one I've done off stream. Uh, 
That's the third time I've fallen off the map tonight. Second time live. I'd always been up that side of where I've fallen off. Looks happy. The gaps aren't big enough to get a vehicle through, I don't think. Looks like it's coming out of a gas tank. Don't think I'd want to be standing beside one of those tanks while I was doing that. Somehow. That's not going to end well for us. Pallet through the floor there. That's part through the floor. Um, I think they put helium on the welder. Definitely helium filled with gas bottle there. Another dodgy textured um, drinks machine. Do some weed in this workshop where they've got grass growing through the floor. Yep, that one must be a 100% argon, that thing. I don't know, girl, it doesn't seem like it. Everything I've found on here has been easy to find, it's not hidden. Yeah, it must be. Those white lines are floating as well. Yep, parking lines are all floating. I know Greenbale done that on Greenwich, but that's his first map, so that's... We give him that on the first attempt. Uh, depends if you call a floating MIG welder a bug. I actually got the traffic turned off. Hmm. Don't usually do first looks with the traffic turned on. Is that weird? You guys can see that, I take it. Across the middle of the screen there. It's a bit like a dirt plane through the middle of the screen. So we've got a floating dirt plane there. Yep, floating dirt planes. Yep. <laughs> Don't know who'd put a floating dirt plane on um, Oakfield. Um, 
Never mind floating dirt plane. How about a floating building? Two floating buildings. That brings the total to. Semi floating cable reels. Semi floating semi sunk skip. That one is meant to be that colour. We wouldn't have floating traffic on here, surely, would we? Interesting. Hmm, nice touch. Why can I hear running water here? Any suggestions anyone? Must be a ghost river. Let's follow this lorry on its journey, shall we? It's gone through the road there. This still needs a lot more work on it. I haven't even looked in that little compound there. That's earthed all right. Running water again. No river though. You know how slow the traffic is going when you can catch up to it on foot.
Oh look, Nathan. Our old friend. You want me to look at a Massey, of all things? I mean, these things look so out of place in 19. Hey, bro gaming, how we doing? She going to these vehicles? Just disappearing off into the ether. Um, good question. What is my phone? I think it's an eight plus iPhone eight plus, something like that. Here we go, let's see what happens. I haven't fallen off the map again up this corner, so we're doing well. For now. So I haven't fallen through, but they are floating, definitely floating. I haven't fallen through along this edge. It's down the other side I've fallen through. Oh, that looks... I spoke too soon. That's four times. Vibrating grass, that's a new one. So I've now fallen through the map four times. Um, does this answer your question at all, Hebrew Gaming? I seem to have fallen through the map again. In fact, we start with the save games machinery on every starting stage as well. Don't think we can get a vehicle off the map though. I haven't tried, but um I won't be able to get a vehicle off the map anyway, would I? Problem is Eva, they've not fixed anything since seventeen, we've still got the same dodgy borders on it. They've given us those mountains, but we've still got that horrible watery effect around the outside. You've been watching Peter Pan again, haven't you, Thomas? See, from here it looks good. You can't see the watery stuff. And the closer you get to it, starts to appear. Try to remember where I fell through. So we 
can't get the Mahindra through there. We know the other place I got through is up beside these buildings. I have got something the other side of the border, vehicle-wise, Nathan. Can't think what map we done that on. Where we lost an Amazon drill. There's that clump of rocks up beside one of these buildings I fell through, wasn't it? I just drift the Mahindra. Um, yeah, about the rocks. When's a rock not a rock? Well that's a new one. Um, please tell me. Am I through? I'm sure work out if I've fallen off the map here or what I've done. Or even where the Mahindra actually is, for that matter. But there we are. We're out again. Can't get through. Rocks that aren't rocks. It's a new one. Usually when you get an updated map it's actually been fixed, not as bad, this first time around. So I fell through somewhere in this corner didn't I? I never looked at this closely before the update, Thomas, but there's a lot wrong with it. This is just badness really now. At least the Mahindra hasn't gone off the map anywhere. The map boundary is vehicle proof. So let's um, try something. We've got a placeable area there. But we don't have any money. Let's solve that problem, shall we?
So in theory, that is a placeable area, is it not? So we should be able to buy things to place in a placeable area. You'd think. Well, we can place the Welker silos in there. So there's no limit on the amount of them we can have on the map. Interesting we place them through the wall. Let's just do what that should be happening. Surely I should not be able to place that there. Yep, that's slightly off the map. Let's do a test, shall we? So I've now placed them silos. That one is severely levitating. That's a nice little list of errors, is it not? Quite a list of errors there. Floating, 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 earthed, 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 off the map, brilliant, never been able to place something off a map before, that's a new one on me. It's through the map boundary. So I can't even get to the edge of it. Nope. I can't get to the edge of that. That rock's got no collision on it. Hey movie. So it joined right at the end. I think I've ripped this map apart enough now tonight. Well, that fence hasn't got a collision on it. Imagine some poor person walking straight into a building site through the fence like that. I mean, anything could happen. Um, it is Lancashire Farmer. Anything good about the update movie? Um, the map loads. Yeah, yeah, the map loads. I think that's the good point. Is it 26 floating trees I found on here? Three floating buildings. Two floating cars. A bush through a wall. That's a new one. Snow mask missing out of a shed. Yeah. I would go with that one, unfortunately. I mean, when they said they'd fix the bugs on there, I was hopeful I might have actually fixed all the bugs. Not just some of them.
No, and they certainly haven't improved the boundary much either. I thought they were going to do that as well, but that's horrendous still. We've got mountains in the distance now, so... Well, there. And it isn't if some of the floating trees are hard to spot. As if to prove a point. You can't exactly miss a tree when there's floating like that. Just a little gap above the ground is one thing, but um, 12 feet above the ground is something else, and there's two like that. There's another one. You got several like that, but you got two really high floaters. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you two pick up on doubles. I don't even like finding things wrong with a map, especially live. But when you get trees like that everywhere, well, you don't have to look hard to find, you know there's something gone wrong. Might have that Thursday to drown out the sorrow of ageing another year. But that is where I need to finish tonight because someone will be wanting his supper. Small brown and white fairy things like their food regularly. So as which I think we've done enough damage to this map tonight. I mean, I've now fallen off at four times in one night. That's um, pretty good going for anyone, to be fair. So, what I'll do is put a link in the chat to the second video today, which is the Bail Grab review. I may be back tomorrow night. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. There's a map first look going out tomorrow morning but for now I'm gonna say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this stream and I will see you again in the next one goodbye for now